Meanwhile, the Detroit Lions have not won a playoff game since 1991. 30-year anniversary. Congratulations, Detroit Lions, since the last year you won a playoff game. Matthew Stafford, first overall pick in 2009, now gone from Detroit, the new quarterback with the Rams. Here he is from Sirius XM NFL Radio talking about the impact of the trade on his overall approach to football. I definitely feel that way. Um, you know, it's a new experience for my entire family. Um, we were so set, um, you know, with, with our lifestyle and, and, uh, and how we, you know, kind of went about day-to-day life in Detroit. That has definitely changed. And, and uh, you know, if you don't have energy to move your wife and four kids and a dog and everybody out to uh, California, you're in a lot of trouble. So it's, uh, it has definitely <laughs> yeah. energized me. I'm excited about the opportunity, um, you know, not only from a, from a family standpoint, but uh, – Really, from a football standpoint, I'm excited about, you know, being a part of, uh, you know, this Rams organization that's had so much recent success. And, and um, I can't uh, I can't wait to get the football season going and, and get all that going. And at the same time, um, you know, loved our time in Detroit. We'll miss we'll miss that uh, that city dearly. It was uh, special to both me and my family, especially my wife when she was going through some things. So uh, love my time in Detroit. But we are excited about, uh, you know, the move to Los Angeles. That he is as it relates to this move to the Rams. When you consider what the Rams are doing, settling on Cam Akers as their workhorse tailback. He was very good as a rookie, had some injuries he fought through last year, had that great Thursday night game against the New England Patriots. They've added Deshaun Jackson to complement the receiving core. The Rams offense, with all those changes led by Stafford, will be what, Chris? Uh, More explosive. I think that's where I look at it more than anything. And I think in all areas. That's where like a guy like Stafford is going to make everything more explosive. You know, one, you know, like we talked about Mike a little when he first got signed or, or traded there. It's going to open up the playbook for McVay and go, wait, oh, this boo and this play action, I used to run these route combinations, but wait, now I got a guy with a laser for a right arm. I can change these route combinations a little bit. Oh, this guy used to run, you know, the cr- the crossing route. Oh, now I'm going to send him on a 40-yard post route. This guy used to run the comeback route. Ah, the hell with that. Now he's going to fake the comeback and run a, you know, a 50-yard go route. I think that's where you're going to see the field open up for the Rams. And not only is it going to make their passing game more explosive because of this guy, right? I think it's the other thing is it's going to make the running game, the McVay running game, that much more dangerous. You know, that's where I think he can really slice you and dice you. McVay's always had the short, intermediate, underneath stuff in the offense. Now, finally, he's going to have somebody that can scare you vertically. McVay's always been about... I'm going to spread you horizontally, horizontally, horizontally. And I'm going to find little ways to, once I get you spread horizontally, to find little cracks in that seam to expose that. Now he's going to make you think about, whoa, the speed sweeps, the fake the speed sweeps, the fake the speed sweeps, the zone runs, the play action passes, and you better worry about 50 yards downfield. And that's where I think it could be fun to watch with this Rams offense this year. I'm curious to see how Stafford thrives or doesn't in the offense. Curious to see Chris Howe. The offensive line is able to buy him enough time because that's a key ingredient to this. He's not exactly a guy who's going to be sprinting out of trouble and moving around a lot. Yes, he can make the throw down the field. Yes, he's a tough guy who's going to stand in there, but you still need to give him some time to set up and find whoever it is that's open. But there's, there's definitely a step up from Jared Goff to Matthew Stafford. No doubt. And in, in the toughest division in football, I think the Rams become a much tougher team to beat by boosting that offense. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.